Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to connect up this Xbox One S controller to a desktop PC. Now we can do this because this particular controller has Bluetooth built into it. So no longer do you need the Windows 10 adapter to plug into your desktop. You'll be able to sync this up. Now the problem I've got is my desktop and my laptop haven't got Bluetooth built into them. So my mobile phone does have and I can sync this up to my mobile cell phone. But the desktop and laptop doesn't have it built in. So what I've done is I've bought a little Bluetooth adapter. I got it off eBay for about £3. It's not a lot of money at all. You can get them even less than that. And I'm going to end this video now, set it up and see how well it works. Right, so it's a very small adapter. doesn't take up much room at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into one of my forward-facing USB ports. I have got ports around the back, but because I'm going to be sitting in front of the desktop, I'm going to plug it in there just because the sing signal might be ever so slightly better than if it was tucked away behind. Right, so what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go down to the start menu here, bottom left hand corner, and I'm going to go to settings which is the second icon up, and then I'm going to go to devices, so here it says Bluetooth printers and mouse. So I'm going to click on that. Now normally I don't have any icon for Bluetooth but now because I've plugged in the dongle I've got a little Bluetooth icon here. So I'm going to click on that and it says here your PC is searching for and can be discovered by Bluetooth devices. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to turn on the Xbox One S controller and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the sync button up here and then hopefully the computer will be able to find this controller. So now you can see that it's flashing faster and already it's come up there Xbox wireless controller ready to pair. So I'm going to click on that and here it says to pair. Click on pair. It looks like it's already synced up. Now I think that bar's got to go all the way across, so I'm just going to leave it a little while. There we go, it's working its way across now. And that's it, Xbox wireless controller connected. So let's give it a go and see if it does actually work. So to begin with, I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to Steam. And as you can see, looking around the place, and moving around. Yeah, that's working fine. Okay, and I'm just going to try it on the Xbox app now as well. Yeah, and as you can see, it's working here. So let's just try the Forza Horizon 3. Right, so we're now on Forza Horizons 3, and as you see, There doesn't appear to be any lag. See the steering wheel moving there. Brake. 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 So it appears to be the same as using a wired controller. So that's quite useful. So if you if you do happen to get yourself an Xbox One. S controller and your desktop doesn't have a Bluetooth then really easy to install you see how easy it was you just plug it in the computer recognizes it sync up your controller and that's it job done and they're really really cheap as well okay thanks a lot for watching take care bye now